Today on this segment of what's on my workbench, I'm gonna be making this wallet here. To make this wallet, I've purchased two pieces of leather from Weaver Leather. It's uh, San Paulo leather. I've purchased a double shoulder of black and a double shoulder of this apricot as well. I'm gonna use these tools here, the uh, five millimeter stitching chisels from Weaver Leather. I'm gonna use this corner knife to cut the corner. You could use a utility knife or such to cut the corners, but this makes a nice continuous cut. Uh, John James needles, and I'm gonna put it all together with this .06 Tiger Ritza thread in black. So that's today's project on the workbench. Follow along, hope you enjoy. To get started on this project, I have cut out two pieces of leather. It doesn't need to be heavyweight leather. This leather that I purchased is about three and a half ounces. And I've cut out two pieces. The outer piece, which in this case is the apricot, is six and three eighths inches by three and one quarter, and the inner piece is six inches by four inches. Next, I did place my maker's mark on here. I've cut two radius corners on here. That way, uh, when we put this wall together, they will make up those two rounded parts you saw on the wallet. As you can see, it's a beginner project and it's really fairly simple once you figure out your sizes. Next, I put one simple little stitch down here and I have put double-sided tape around the outside of this. I put that one stitch there so that as I assemble it, I can keep this top edge matched up. So I'm going to now take these two pieces and put them together like this. And then I will create uh, stitching holes around the edge. Using this five millimeter stitching chisel from Weaver Leather, I created the holes here along the edge. I stayed back from this lower corner a little bit because I will round that slightly and stopped up here at the top about the time it reaches where the radius starts. Now that I have the holes in here for the stitching, I will start my saddle stitch up here. Seek weld the thread on both needles and I will work my way around the wallet here. This top part here will have the most stress of any of the stitching. Uh, shouldn't be a ton of stress but I'm gonna come back around a second time at the top here, doubling the amount of thread that is holding this. And I'm using the 0 0.06 thread. Uh, once again, you can get that from a number of places, but I bought this particular thread through Weaver Leather. And I think I've said it in previous videos, but I use the 0.06 thread. It's the finest uh, Tiger Ritza thread. I use that because the stitches are really, I think, pretty well defined. And I like how that looks on the finished project. So I will just work my way around this. As you can see, it doesn't take it terribly long time to stitch around here.
pulling pretty snug on this. There's a, quite a bit of thickness of leather here along the edge. So the chance of puckering the leather too much is pretty small. But you don't want to pull far enough down to where the thread totally disappears into the leather. That will not give you the look that you're looking for. And when I get done, I will sand this bottom edge so that all four layers of leather are exactly the same. And then I will burnish the edge of it and it'll have a nice look and feel as well. Simple wallets like this are a good way to use up pieces of leather that you may be trimmed off of other projects. I don't really call them scrap because that makes it sound like it's waste. It's not. That's kind of how you try to utilize the majority of the hide that you have. But out of any piece of leather that you buy, by the time you work around flaws and uh, curves and different things that you create with your pieces, you lose about 30% of the leather you buy to what would be then waste. Not smaller projects, but actual waste that goes in the trash. About 30% of each piece. And when I get down here to the end, I will finish off it. And I will come backwards about a stitch and a half. And there's not much stress on the leather here. So I really don't need to make a square knot. I'm gonna finish it off by trimming each side closely and then melting the ed end of it. When you do that, the, the thread, the end of it there, that helps keep that from pulling back through. Well, I got a little knot there. I'm gonna have to back that out and fix that. phrase there but that'll clean up if I had done that in the main run of the wall then I would have taken out my stitches and started over but you will not see that there and I want to use my thread zapper to uh, melt the ends of the thread here Other than burnishing, we have a finished wallet. So I will get that burnished, finished off, and then we'll come back and look at it. Here we are with the finished minimal wallet. I have the edges burnished. And you can see I've carried this one just for a couple weeks and it's already starting to get its own patina and uh, it's broken in quite well. If you want less stuff in it, then uh, it obviously would be thinner. I've got eight cards and five bills in the wallet as it sits. Hope you enjoyed and uh, go ahead and make the project yourself. You'll enjoy it.